In this video, we're going to show how you can use drop down menus to adjust some of the settings for our widget. So, for this tutorial, we're going to show an alignment drop down menu that lets you align the text left, right, or center. In order to better see the alignment, because when you preview your website, it's just going to be at one blank white page, we're going to add a background color to this widget. So, we'll add the color fill so that you can quickly see what, that if the widget will be aligned properly. Going back to our widget editor, we're going to go to our HTML code. And in order to, to have the alignment work properly, we're, we're going to have to surround our code with a outer div. So we'll have a div with, our, with a unique ID using our shape index as we did for our link. You can see that our ending div tag was already entered, so we'll just place that below our anchor tag. We'll format that a little bit nicer and, cl and click OK. Actually, we should copy our outer ID here because we're going to need to use it for our CSS code. So if I go to my CSS code here, I'm going to enter so a new div. I'm going to make sure that the div width will be the entire span of our control. And I'm going to create text align. Now we'll give it a default value of left. And if I highlight that, click create control, I'll select drop down menu, give it a name, give it a label alignment, and the default value will be left. Now for drop down menus, they're a little bit of a special case. If I go to my controls, I'll see my alignment field is here. And actually, I want to adjust it so that it appears within our styling, so right below the styling label. Now, in order to add options to our drop down menu, we need to do that from the con control description. So I'll add my possible options. We'll have left, center, and right. Now, if I save that and go back to Everweb, I can now see I have an alignment drop down menu and it's working. So if I preview that in my web browser, my text is now aligned right. I can also go back to align center, preview, and you'll see it's aligned center. There's a small inconsistency between what we see in our web browser and what we see in Everweb. Here, the entire widget is filled with our background color. In Everweb, it's only this one line. Sometimes there are very minor inconsistencies between what you see in Everweb and your web browser, just because of how the internal code within Everweb works. But we can easily fix this. We're gonna to have to specify the actual height of the widget within our CSS code. So we want the value that is right over here. And that can be obtained using a special internal variable. If we click our CSS code, we can go to our outer div and we can enter in our height property. And then to access the height from within our from within Everweb, we use the dollar sign, we enter in height, and we enter variable. We have to include px for pixels, but that will allow us to make sure that our background color is applied to the entire control within the Everweb preview. And it has no and it makes no difference within our actual web browser. Now, just like we used height, we can also use width, but we don't need that in this case. So we're going to click OK. We're going to save. We're going to go back to Everweb to refresh. And when we make a small change to our widget, we'll see that now the look between what we see in Everweb and what we see within our web browser is the exact same. 